All right, so for our first dra uh, pack, we got a Guard Dragon Core Awakening. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle and today we are wrap we are going to finish opening our second box of Savage Strike Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, been really happy with the set so far and our first box was absolute fire. I don't think, um, I think technically there are better results that could have been had but I feel like we're in the, we were in like the top 97 pop, 97 uh, percentile as far as like possible pulls. So I was really happy about that and then. So the one interesting thing about the first part of this second box is all the cards that we pulled, like all the relevant ones, were also in the first box. So I feel like there's massive dupli duplication going on. So on the, I feel like it'd be very strange if they had the exact same like secret rares, but if they do, oh man, that would be absolutely nuts. Um, all right, so let's begin the uh, opening. And actually one one question, random question for you guys is, um, what play mats do you guys use? Do you have a specific one that you're a big fan of? Uh, in case you haven't seen it. So this one is actually a Stein's Gate, which is a anime. Um, probably one of my all-time favorite animes. And if you're into anime and you haven't seen it, definitely recommend it. Um, top like 10, 10 out of 10 for sure. Um, but when I, as I'm doing Yu-Gi-Oh openings, I want to say, oh, I should have a Yu-Gi-Oh play mat. And then I was looking at some and none of them really jumped out at me. I'm going to keep an eye out, but I am curious for, you know, what play mats do you guys like? If there, is there one that you would recommend, uh, whether it's for Pokemon, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, or just something else? Um, so if there's a particular one that you are a huge fan of, let me know what it is because I'm open to suggestions at this point. All right, without further ado, we have 12 more packs. And yes, if this, if this duplication story continues... Um, I wouldn't mind that because that first box was absolutely crazy and so the amount of duplication like even our first secret rare was even we pulled from the first box I wish like if, if we get both of them the same that's absolutely amazing however uh, the one that we got so far was the uh, less uh, relevant one all right, so for our first dra uh, pack, we got a Guard Dragon Core Awakening. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? On the first pack. So in this box, both secret rares are at the very top. And they were the exact same ones from our last box. And I feel really bad because I kind of just tossed the card against the mat. Uh, luckily, it was, wasn't was at the bottom. But guys, this is... so. You know, I, I don't even know how often this happened where there's a card, a single card that is worth over a hundred dollars. Like even even in uh, Magic, like the standard sets, I feel like that doesn't even happen. And however, it's happening right now. And I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh with all of its reprints, like cards just aren't worth as much. And then we just pulled it twice. Like, oh, this is this is like I feel silly saying this. This is like this is double rainbow, all right? I cannot believe that we just pulled a second fan, fantastic, <laughs> the name is weird, fantastical dragon phantasme, oh my gosh, we got our second one, and man, this duplication, what, what is going on, I, is, uh, for anyone that is, uh, you know, ha does open uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, uh, you know, more than I have in the past, I don't know, week, or a uh, couple weeks, you know, is this a thing? Does this happen a lot? I'm not complaining right now, but because, oh my gosh, we hit jackpot two times in a row. Oh, um, I feel like it, it'd be uh, inappropriate, but I, I kind of like, oh man, maybe I should just save the rest of the packs. And all right, for our next one, it's hard to, I think it comes out in the video, but it's kind of hard for me to read on the phone. Trickstar Band Sweet Guitar. That actually does sound familiar. And that guy definitely looks familiar. So, yeah, I feel like this was like card for card. The same exact box that we got last time. The Phantasma and then a Pot of Extravagance. Yes, technically that would be better. But, you know, uh, Sky Striker Ace Kinda. I think we pulled that as well. World Legacy World Arc. Yep, these are all, these all sound familiar. Um, I'm hoping over time we start to accumulate more more people familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh that actually do open Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But like, my God, like 
hit that like button like this is absolutely crazy um this is the chase card um in the set again they go for like 120 right now final light this um i'm not sure if this if we pulled this before laugh is dragon we have uh, multiple copies of it at this point um so so usually what i do is i just kind of um Pisty, Guard Dragon Pisty, I think we got that one as well. Speed Burst Dragon doesn't ring a bell. Um, so I'll just sleeve up like the 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 big hits. Um, and so far, so we have eight cards in Yu-Gi-Oh cards in sleeves and they're, they're the exact same four cards twice. So that, that's what I'm talking about. That massive, this, this crazy amount of duplication is just really strange. Thief Redoer, Shara Nui Swordmaster, and then, ooh, Neo's Fusion. Okay, this one is definitely new. Uh, definitely didn't pull one of these, and happy to pull like uh, Neo's cards. Uh, definitely GX was, I actually think, like, the OG Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, series, you know, I would say is the most iconic that got me into the game, but I think, like, if I were to rewatch anything, it would just be just GX, because, you know, they actually... For the most part, follow the rules and you know those those real strategies we got next. Um, another world arc, you know the the strategies were real and you know I wasn't the rules weren't made up on the fly just to suit the occasion. So that I really appreciated. Should maybe pull one more ultra rare. So see, and we got some evidence of non duplication. Brave Neos, we definitely pulled that before. And what is this? Salaman Great Violet Chimera. Ooh, I like the art of that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Squirt Squid. Time Thief Hack and Cybers Convert. This, man, what a what a crazy couple boxes to, to get. What the heck? We, we pulled this like, I don't know, uh, five, three minutes ago. All right, so the duplication seems to have stopped. More ultra rare. Looking for that Boral Load Savage Dragon just because we're going to be super greedy. Ah, there it is. There's the ultra rare. Shara Nui Skill Saga Supremacy. And then Hyper Psychic Riser. I feel like um, they they take like the archetype name and they start with that. Share Nugi, Guard, Dra Dra Guard Dragon, World Legacy, and then like after that, it's some, sometimes these 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 name names are a little random. <laughs> Here we go. Share Nui Style Solemnity, Guard Dragon, Garmedes, Neo Space Connector, and then Valkyrie Vierte, and then Detonate Detonate the Leader. All right, that's feels random. Clock Lizard. All right. Last pack. We don't need anything. Man, I can't believe we did this, guys. Uh, you, I think Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, at least for the time being, Yu-Gi-Oh is going to be here for a little bit uh, on this channel. We're having, we, we're too good at it, guys. All right. Our last pack has a Elemental Hero, Hero Cosmos, Cosmo Neos. I think we pulled this one last time as well. Followed by a Cyber Synchron. Whew! Getting a lot of great sense of deja vu, and I love it. So, there you guys have it. We just wrapped up our second box. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to. So, just want to emphasize again that all I, the only cards I put in sleeves are the ones that have a uh, significant value. So, for the rare slot, we have that Solomon Great. Uh, Sunlight Wolf, and we got two of them. For the ultra rare that we have, that's pretty good, is World Legacy Guard Dragon. Oh, that kind of like combines two archetypes, I guess. Guard Dragon and World Le World Legacy. We got two of those. The Psychic Wielder, which is a very good card, and we have two of those. And then for the monster hit, we have two fantastical dragon phantasmes. I still can't believe this guys um, like my best magic opening like a video we had not too long ago where we opened a foil tafari like both like each of these is worth more than that and like I was in complete shock that we got that so so happy with this um, yep 
big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. Uh, big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh again, guys. Um, so there you guys have it. Another monstrous opening of Savage Strike on this channel. Maybe I'm gonna have to get more. Um, Cause at this point, I'm like thriving in it. Uh, so at this point, we've taken up uh, enough time. Um, whew, I'm Moana Turtle, guys, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.